Key findings from the 2014-15 Uganda Malaria Indicator Survey. The 2014-15 Uganda Malaria Indicator Survey, 2014-15 UMIS, was implemented by the Uganda Bureau of Statistics and the National Malaria Control Program of the Uganda Ministry of Health from December 2014 to January 2015. The funding for the UMIS was provided by the United States Agency for International Development and the United Kingdom Department for International Development. ICF International provided technical assistance as well as funding to the project through the DHS program. The 2014-15 UMIS is the second malaria indicator survey to be carried out in Uganda. Additionally, two demographic and health surveys have collected information on malaria in Uganda. 5,345 households and 5,322 women aged 15 to 49 were successfully interviewed in the 2014-15 UMIS. This represents a response rate of 97% for households and 97% for women. All children aged 0 to 59 months living in selected households were eligible for malaria and anemia testing. Anemia testing was carried out using the HemoQ system. Malaria testing was done through both rapid diagnostic testing as well as blood smear microscopy. Of the 5,050 eligible children, 97% provided blood for anemia, 96% for RDT, and 97% for malaria microscopy. Malaria prevalence estimates in this video are based only on microscopy results. The 2014-15 UMIS provides estimates at the national level, urban rural areas, 10 survey regions, and 3 study domains. The results of the 2014-15 Uganda MIS show that progress in malaria prevention and case management has been made since 2006. Currently, 9 in 10 households in Uganda have at least one insecticide-treated net, or ITN. This is a dramatic increase since 2006. Children under 5 and pregnant women are the groups most vulnerable to malaria. Currently, three quarters of both children under 5 and pregnant women slept under an ITN the night before the survey. Use of ITNs by both children under 5 and pregnant women has increased from 10% in 2006. Malaria during pregnancy contributes to low birth weight, infant mortality, and other complications. To prevent malaria, pregnant women should receive two or more doses of SP Fancida during an antenatal care visit. Nearly half of pregnant women received this intermittent preventative treatment, or IPTP, during an antenatal care visit. IPTP has increased nearly threefold from 16% in 2006 to 45% in 2014-15. Fever is a major manifestation of malaria in children. Overall, 31% of children under 5 had a fever in the two weeks before the survey. 82% of children with fever sought advice or treatment, while only 36% had blood taken from a finger or heel stick for testing. Artemisinin combination therapy, or ACT, is the recommended drug for treating malaria in children. Among children with fever who received an antimalarial, 87% received ACT. Only 5% of children aged 0 to 59 months are severely anemic. Prevalence of severe anemia is highest among children aged 9 to 11 months at 16%. In Uganda, 19% of children aged 0 to 59 months tested positive for malaria by microscopy. Malaria prevalence varies greatly by region. 
malaria prevalence is highest in East Central Region at 36% and lowest in Kampala at less than 1%. Malaria prevalence has decreased from 42% in 2009 to 19% in 2014 15. Malaria prevalence has also decreased in urban and rural areas. As you can see, the 2014-15 Uganda Malaria Indicator Survey provides a wealth of information about malaria in Uganda. Results of the survey show where progress has been made as well as areas for improvement. The 2014-15 UMIS provides data to inform strategic planning and program evaluation in Uganda. For additional information on the results of the 2014-15 Uganda Malaria Indicator Survey, please contact the Uganda Bureau of Statistics in Uganda and the DHS program in the United States.